Welcome to another edition of Highlander News. I'm Brianna. And I'm Kenzie. As the snow melts away, spring sports are in full swing. Reporter Riley Miller visits with VCHS athletes to talk about the goals for the upcoming season. Spring sports are just getting started at VCHS and athletes have set the bar high for a successful season. So my goals this year for golf are to place higher in varsity meets and then also bring my average strokes down. Also, I plan to have better drive placement off the tee box, hopefully. Um, my goals for the season are to get faster times and jump higher on my high jump and just to improve all around and become a leader on the track team. For softball, we'd like to be EDC champions and participate in the state tournament. Our goal as a team for tennis is to qualify two doubles teams because we've been doing that for the past however many years and qualify as a team again for however many years in a row, a lot. Oh, I'm just looking to get back out on the field, get in the nice weather and uh, play some good old baseball with the fellas. Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Riley Miller. With a new advisor comes a new robotics program. Reporter Luther Zeltinger brings you the story. Uh, robotics is a competition made up by VEX. This is a mobile goal and if it's in the robot and the robot carries it around and stacks yellow cones on it. These are the cones that we stack and they go on top of the mobile goals and uh, that's what our robot does. It just stacks them and then sets them in the goals and then moves away. So my team is Tanner and me and then there's two other teams that are at Valley City. One is Derek Ezra Kale and John Lawham and Buddy Shear. And there's also a team of Keegan and Owen Ploggins. We're all going on the same course. Yep, we were on a separate team from Tanner and Blake early on um, after our first competition in Grand Forks. We split up into two teams so we could have a better chance at taking first seed and then choosing each other. Yeah, we could get together with the Alliance selection. We could team up together. It's at the very beginning of a match, the first 15 seconds, you write your program and then you start it up and then the robot goes and does whatever you want it to do if you programmed it right. Our autonomous works every single time. Every time it works. It never fails. In Mandan, our highest score we got was 117 points. For Highliner News, I'm Luther Zeltinger. Laughter is the best medicine. Here are some jokes to brighten your day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Bless you. Oh. <laughs> what do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. A stick? <laughs> okay, what does a nosy pepper do? What's that, Reese? Gets jalapeno business. <laughs> or why did the mushroom go to the party? Because he was a fun guy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call two guys that hang out by a window? Curtain rod. <laughs> hey Birch, is your refrigerator running? Yeah. Then <laughs> you better go catch it. <laughs> what do you get from a pampered cow? Uh, what? <laughs> Spoiled milk. Oh. <laughs> As we are closing in on graduation, stress from choosing colleges to financial aid is overwhelming. Former VCHS student gives us a few tips on how to adult. Welcome to College Tips. Stress. Make sure you find time to be away from people. Take naps if you can. Naps help a lot. Uh, for dealing with stress, you just gotta uh, find something you enjoy doing on the sides. So, like, you're not constantly thinking and doing schoolwork all the time. Try to just like take one day out of the week to like relax and then focus the rest of the days. For, for studying, don't wait until the night before the test because it doesn't work like it does in high school. Well, for studying, uh, you just got to kind of find something that works for you. Uh, some people, they'll like rewrite notes. Other people, they'll uh, just stare at a notebook until they learn it, you know learning through osmosis. Like taking as many classes in high school as you can, college classes, just to get them out of the way. So you gotta know how to do laundry. That's a, that's a big thing and you're gonna stink all the time. Get involved. I mean, there's so many different organizations wherever you go and different clubs that you can always find something to do. 
Get eight hours of sleep. Don't get ready for class every day. No one cares what you look like. This is Macy Schlott reporting for Highlander News. You see them cleaning up messes, now it's time to get to know them. All right, it's time for an episode of Better Know Your Custodians. First up, we have Mary B. Was she A, a dairy worker, B, a barber, C, a maid, or D, a photo booth attendant? Take five. If you said A, you're definitely right. Up next, there's Ransford. Was he A, a car salesman, B, a chauffeur, C, a retail manager, or D, a forklift operator? Take five. If you said C, you're not wrong. Now, we have my BFF, Brian. Was he A, a piano tuner, B, a corrections officer, C, a crab fisherman, or D, a hotel designer? Take five. If you said D, you're right. Last but not least, we have Mary S. Was she A, a dog walker, B, a personal trainer, C, an assembly line worker, or D, a hotel manager? Take five. If you said C, you're correct. I'm your host, Hannah Sorensen, and that was an episode of Better Know Your Custodians. The new art club is busy working on new projects. Reporter Callie Fretheim shows us what they are up to. A new club is now available to the art students of Valley City High School. The art club is student-led starting in October of last year. I like coming here after school and kind of have people that like to do the same things and I don't know, we, there's absolutely no drama here which there is a lot in high school and so it's just kind of nice to get away and do things that everyone likes to do. The club focuses on doing projects outside of the normal art class. That we can get like the 3D pens and try new things and kind of experiment more than what we would be able to in other classes. The club is working on a ceiling tile project and experimenting with 3D doodlers. Um, we are working on ceiling tiles and 3D pens. Um, we're doing some for the Army and for Miss Claybo. For Highliner News, I'm Callie Fretheim. The STEAM After School program at Washington Elementary is taking technology to a new level. London Dietrich elaborates on the story. It's an after school program, so they meet, we meet Monday through Thursday, 3.15 to 5.15, and the kids, um, we do different monthly themes, so every month is a different STEAM theme. Last year I went to a conference and I talked to a group of kids that had a technology after school program and so I wanted to do that at Washington School to give the kids an opportunity to kind of excel themselves and so Brian Crewalt helped me out a lot with that. The program started January. Jessica Stannon enjoys all the different activities that go on during the STEM program. Probably just working with the kids every day. They are so funny. You never know what's going to happen, if a project's going to work, if it's not going to work and the kids are pretty good about um, kind of winging it. And kind of going with the flow to make it happen. So every day is a totally different fun day. For Highliner News, this is London Dietrich. Some sports might look a little easier than they seem. Tara, Jossie, and Karina find this out when they swap sports for the day. Terry Dieterle, Jossie Crewold, and Karina Olson all took on the challenge and swapped sports for a day. Gymnast Jossie Crewold explains her view on basketball. I feel like the hardest part was the sports are so different and there's a lot of running and it's hard to get the ball into the hoop. There are a lot of differences between the two sports, but one thing stuck out that Jossie noticed. The biggest difference between gymnastics and basketball is gymnastics, you have to be more mentally focused and ready for your routines. Basketball player Taryn Dieterle tells us about her day at gymnastics. I really think I nailed it. I just, I went out there, I did everything I could, I worked hard, I mean I nailed it on the floor, I nailed it on the beams, I nailed it on the bar, I just, I think I did really good out there. Gymnastics has a wide range of skill levels. Terry Dieterle explains the hardest and easiest things she did that day. Definitely the jump from the little bar to the high bar. It took me a couple times to get it, but in the end I really think I mastered it. The easiest part was probably um, getting into this leotard because nothing else was very easy. <laughs> With different sports comes different conditioning and muscles used. In basketball we do a lot more running and you need like more like lower body strength like in your legs and in gymnastics you need a lot of upper body strength and you gotta be pretty flexible. <laughs> Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Courtney Lloyd. Friday nights at the bowling alley are now rocking and a rolling. Callie Fretheim strikes up the story. A new event being held at Skylanes is rock and roll bowling. 
I started rock and roll bowling because a lot of high school kids and college kids came up to me saying how it used to be fun back in like 08, 09. So now they want me to bring it back. So I'm trying it the month of April and if I get a lot of business, I will keep it going. Bowling is a fun activity that any age can participate in. My first night was April 6th. I ended up having a really good night, so we hope every other night is just like my first night. It will be every Friday night, starting at 9 o'clock. Try not to show up any earlier. First come, first serve for lanes. And we'll stop taking money at 11.30, but we'll let you bowl until about midnight, 12.30. And then I gotta stay an hour after just to clean up. As soon as you walk in the door, you pay $10 right at the door, and that comes with shoes, and you can bowl all you want for as long as you want until I kick you out. And then you just have to bring extra money for pop and food if you want some. For Highlighting News, I'm Callie Fretheim. Ever wonder what janitors really do in their day? Michaela Walla sweeps up the story. My normal day is where I go up to second and third floor and I finish cleaning the rooms, uh, vacuuming, wiping down the desk, taking out the garbage. My favorite part of the job, of course, is the kids. They all make me happy. And it's this building, Washington School, it's always been where that's the easy part, is the kids. Being a janitor may look easy, but there are many struggles Mary deals with every day. Certain days, I have a lot of people calling me, and it's where I have to figure out which one I can knock off the list first, the most important. Um, it's like I have best friends all over the building. In the morning after I get done on second floor, I'll go down and I'll visit Jordan. Then I'll come up through the kitchen and visit the lunch ladies. And then I'll make my way through the building and end up down with your grandma. <laughs> this is Michaela Walla reporting for Highliner News. Thank you for joining us from the Art Room at Valley City High School for another edition of Highliner News. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Brianna.